Hello everyone, this is GPH Officer. I want to talk about a few things. Uh, number one, dealing with that whole Harold Camping stuff still going around. Um, I saw an earlier uh, recording, and actually heard live a few days ago, of Harold Camping. He was speaking about how it wasn't an actual physical uh, rapture, it was more of a spiritual one, and uh, how the end of the world's going to happen exactly on October 21st, 2011 in the next five months at 6 p.m. Uh, exactly right after the right after the rapture and what I'm thinking is number one who did, who has to be crazy enough to still believe in him after he was completely wrong again for the third time and it's, it's just annoying I mean I he, there were some questions answered asked about uh, about um, about giving the money back and he didn't answer them at all. He completely uh, refused. He didn't even, I'm sorry, he didn't refuse. He didn't answer them at all. He kept dancing around it. Um, he, he was told about the uh, story of the woman cutting, uh, cutting herself and cutting her two children to rid them so they won't have to suffer the torment of, uh, of after the rapture. And he was saying, uh, thank goodness that, no, well, obviously, uh, I would agree if I thank goodness no one died, but it still sh he still should take blame for a part of it for what he did because he started. He was he started. He was the reason why uh, many believe, people believed. He was the reason why many people left their homes, sold their homes, gave their possessions, gave all their money to him instead of helping out a charitable cause or just keeping the money for themselves. That was my phone. I'm sorry. Instead of giving it, keeping it for themselves just in case it wouldn't happen. But nowadays, spending on billboards, uh, traveling, buses. Uh, cars, catering, and the hell camping in his radio station himself. Which, again, I'm going to say to hell camping and any, any of his followers right now who's listening in, watching this. What, what happens on May, I'm sorry, what happens on October 21st, 2011? And nothing happens. I'm going to say the exact same thing that I said on May 21st, 2011. But you're wrong. So you should stop following him. Now, another thing I like to bring up is I was recently dealing with somebody who had a problem with me being an atheist. I was a friend of hers for like about a year. But for some reason, she started getting all pissy at me after I, sometime after I announced my atheism. Uh, I'm moving my camera around, so it's a little off and I don't want it to keep lagging uh, but she was pissed at me and she and she's saying I'm unintellectual I'm not smart at all I'm actually dumb as fuck as put up by her and she would call me all these weird childish names she's saying she told me that she was smarter than me and that I was no near as smart as her or anybody else and yet she would act childish she would become she would say childish things like uh, let me try to remember something that she said. Uh, that I'm a I'm a retarded dumb fuck, and some and many other words. I'm I don't feel like repeating them. And when I try to engage her, I'm not rude. I'm calm, cool, collected, and I I'm intellectual about it. I'm not childish like her. But I digress. Uh, another thing is. Let's see. Uh. I was watching the Amazing Atheist a few days ago about the talking about the rapture, and I have to agree with him. Uh, many Christians who uh, who believe in the actual rapture are I would consider them crazy, not completely, but crazy, uh, because you believe that Jesus one day is going to come to you and pick you up, especially to bring you up to heaven. I tell many people that it's arrogant to believe that. Many of them, some of them are saying, they don't answer me. Some of them uh, say, no, it's not. It's not arrogant at all. It's arrogant to not believe in God and everything. And for, and what I say, number one, I'm not talking about believing in God. I'm talking about actually believing in the rapture. And this is how I see it, how it's arrogant. This, this is me. I'm going to pretend like I was when I was a Christian. Uh, Jesus is going to come back in my lifetime. 
God and Jesus is going to save me and people who think like me. He's going to save me from eternal torment and torture forever and ever by lifting me up and sending me to heaven where I can worship him and be forever at bliss. While the heathens and non-believers who do not accept Christ, uh, uh, atheists, this, again, this is me when I was Christian, atheist, Muslim, Buddhist, whoever, and go to, and while they are in prison and, and hell forever. And that's arrogant to think that. It's crazy and it's arrogant. All Christians, if you believe, so I'm going to have to move my camera. If you believe in the rapture, you are held camping, justified in expiration date. Now I have one more thing to say. Uh, it's also about my uh, about me being me being a former Christian. Um, my blog talk radio. Uh, I'll be on tonight at around 11:30 since I can't do prime time. I'll be on around 11:30 p.m. It'll be Eastern time anyway for the United States. Uh, it'll be for about a half an hour. So it's I can only do about 15 to a half an hour. Uh, it'll be about my experience as a Christian when I was a Christian. Uh, how I dealt with it when I was a Christian, how I was indoctrinated, uh, and I'm sorry, indoctrinated, uh, what church I went to, how I was indoctrinated, as I said again, um, which struggles I had to go through while I was a Christian, accepting certain things, what, so, what things I had to go through, accepting certain things that my church didn't accept, that I accepted on my own, and then me becoming, going out of Christianity, but still believing in a God, then, be, then becoming an atheist sometime later. Uh, it'll be on 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the United States, anyway. Uh, blogtalkradio.com slash gphhawkins is my blog, my podcast channel, anyway. The links will be down below in the description box. Uh, you can tweet with me, uh, twitter.com slash gph underscore hawkins. Uh, Blog Talk Radio, obviously. Blogtalkradio.com slash gphhawkins blogtv.com slash gph underscore hawkins newsgm.com slash channel slash gph hawkins and I think that's about it so again 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, link below comment, rate, and subscribe before uh, all the zombie gillets come and get you thanks for watching